Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I know this is uh, something a little different. I've got a dumpster behind me. Look who I've got with me, the worm girl. <laughs> Please, Papa, put the worm back in. Remember that? Guys, what we are doing today, we are going to build some fish habitats. And I have been racking my brain. PVC pipe is five bucks a stick now, and I need like 50 of them. And guys, look what I just found. Look what I just found. A whole dumpster full of exactly what I'm needing. So, our plans today, me and Charlie, my beautiful granddaughter, we're gonna load this material up, we're gonna take it back to the house, and we're gonna make some fish structures to go in the pond. So you guys stand by. Come on. All right, Charlie. What we're gonna do is we're gonna look at her. She's helping me load this up. She's a trooper. All right, guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the house and get my little four foot step ladder because I can't crawl over in that dumpster and there is a lot more materials to get. Look at this right here already. Uh-oh, where are we at? I don't know if y'all can see that or not. I mean, that's a couple of hundred dollars savings right there. Um, yep. Look, say hey. Hey. What are we? What are we about to do? We're about to go dumpster diving again. What we gotta, for? We got to come back and get our ladder. That's right. We are dumpster diving for PVC, anything that we can make fish habitats out of. Cheap guys. I want to show you guys want to show you guys it can be done cheap now i am going to have to buy some cinder blocks and concrete but these pvc pipes are five and six bucks a piece now four years ago they was a dollar 98 cents that's crazy i'm not spending that so we are going to do it for free i'm going to put you guys on the chesty let's go let's go I'll go get on my all right you go on the other side A little helper for the day. Yep, I love going on Paw Paw. Yep. You like making videos? Yeah. You was a star in one video. Yeah, well, I was six then. Yeah, you were six. I'll link that video. I'll link that video down in the description. It was just a funny little video of her uh, of being introduced to live worms. Guys, if you haven't seen it, just check it out. I love and, worms. And give it a thumbs up for Miss Charlie. Funny. We are gathering up some materials to build a fish habitat. So, uh, stand by guys, we're gonna grab a ladder. Remember, always wear flip flops in the shower. Huh? Okay guys, let me show you what we got. We did end up two or one broken cinder blocks. We got about six or eight red bricks and this dumpster is full of them, but I can't reach them. And it's scaring Charlie for me to get down inside of them. But we have quite a bit of scrap PVC. So let's go home. Yeah. Let's go home and unload this stuff. And then we will go to Home Depot and get uh, two bags of concrete and uh, about four more cinder blocks. And I think we'll be good. Oh, yes. Can I have some of this water? You sure can have some of that water. So guys, stand by. We are headed to Home Depot. Yes. Hey guys, do you remember me from the uh, worm video? Worm video. Um, I'm Charlie. And we're going to go in Home Depot and get some, uh, what are they called? Cinder blocks. Cinder blocks and uh, concrete. And we're taking you guys along with us. All right, here we go. You ready?
<laughs> Easy peasy lemon squeezy, as they say. 16 bucks for five habitats. You mean fishy, fishy, missy, missy? Yep. <laughs> So guys, we're heading back to the house now, me and Charlie, and we're going to start assembling these things. Yeah! Stand by. Alright guys, me and Charlie just got back from, um, alright guys, me and Charlie just got back from the house. We got a pretty good bit of stuff for free! I used to have a little bitty shovel. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go around the edges of this. And make sure I got it all off the bottom. See the consistency of that? That is perfect. Good and scoopy, but not not too thick. There is so much stuff that you can make fish habitats out of. I mean, a true brush pile, which we have down here in the yard. I could have got that, tie wrapped it together with something and made me a big, big brush pile. But the reason I wanted this is because there's nothing to get hung on here, nothing at all. Unless you drop down on one of these tubes and catch the bottom of it or something. Hey guys, I'll give you a little sneak preview of what came in this big box right here. I got four of them, only four they had in, and I have not filled them up yet. I just had a few that was left in my boat for lipless crankbaits. Um, I mean, they could hold different, different stuff, but I got the lipless crankbait, I got the jig, because I got a ton of jigs, small and medium, small and medium um, uh, crankbaits is what I got. Sense, baby. Number one in the game. Number one in the game. All right. Let's get to, uh, let's get to making two more of them. guys it looks like they're dry for the most part I think they're okay I think they're okay so guys there's I say guys a lot I don't hope I don't offend anybody by saying that I just figure it's mostly guys that watch this channel my daughter and granddaughter does too but anyway I did not plan this out very well I did not take into account taking these 40 pound concrete cinder blocks 
down to the bottom. So, I've already got one of them down there, that half of one. About to take the other half one. The little boat has some water in it, pumping it out right now. So we're hoping to get these in the water tonight. It's Sunday afternoon. We made them yesterday, as you guys can see. Hey guys, and give my granddaughter a big thumbs up. Man, this is her first YouTube videos that she's been in, and she's really, really excited about it. She really tried hard to do the intro at Home Depot, and uh, uh, just give her a thumbs up if you don't mind. And ring that bell, baby, ring that bell. Hit that notification button. Anyway, we're gonna get at it. We're gonna take them down there and hopefully drop them in the pond tonight. Hey guys, we recruited somebody to get them heavy blocks down there to the lake. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, the uh, the blocks are set up, guys. They're uh, they're good and hard. We're about to go drop them in the water. Unfortunately, my little granddaughter's not here with me today to help me. Uh, it took these things about two days to set up, so of course she had to go back home. But. Th I covered a pretty large area over there so what our plans are we're gonna let them soak for two days and uh, Wayne and I are gonna go out with two underwater cameras and we're gonna see what's around this water's clear enough I think we can see them because them uh, they're in about 16 foot of water out there so with absolutely no cover in this lake other than two stumps uh, some fish should really take to this thing so guys uh, uh, Hope y'all have enjoyed this little series. Give a, give a thumbs up and ring that bell, baby. Ring that bell for my granddaughter, man. She's very excited about this video. And I appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you here in the next couple of days.